All right. Um, Supervisor Land Transport, Land Transport Hazardous Materials, Sub Course TR 1030, Edition 8, U.S. Army Transportation School, Fort Eudis, Virginia 23604, 5400, 8 hours, 8 credit hours, additional date, December 1988. Introduction When the unit is tasked with loading the hazardous cargo overload of the transport, it is your responsibility to transport officer to ensure the hazardous cargo is loaded correctly. The nature of hazardous cargo requires extra supervision on your part to ensure that the cargo is handled and safely and loaded securely. Part A Documentation, label, inspection for damage. De dealing with a hazard cargo, you must use strict accountability, careful handling procedures as supervised. You do not have personal inspection account for or handle each of the pieces of the cargo, but you should make sure that your unit personnel um, know how to perform these tasks properly. Cargo documentation on transportation control, movement documentation, government bill of landing. Um, the part of the le lesson describes in the process of the checking of the cargo documentation to ensure the shipment of the matches, the paperwork as an officer, you must ensure I uh, must be able to in instruct the unit personnel on how to perform the task. The task starts with the cargo documentation. All cargo is transported over the uh, land. Have some some word of documentation to describe the cargo. Identify the cosigner and cosignee. Um, the, the general name of the documentation is bill of landing or way bill. We may commonly encounter the two way bill, two types of way bill: the transportation control movement documentation or CM, CMD, and the government bill of landing GMBL. The transportation use of the transportation control movement document department form the Department of Defense form. 1384 when transportating cargo of the government in the government vehicles use the um, government bill of landing stand, standard form 1103 when transporting cargo with a commercial carrier for the subcourses you must become familiar with the specific blocks of information on these documents to identify cargo types and status and configuration. Transportation control movement and documentation. Transportation control movement and documentation use the code of the Department of Defense regulatory re regulation 4500.32 are volume one military standard transportation movement procedures commonly known as MILSAMP to describe the cargo five blocks of the information are used on the transportation control movement develop, um, document to identify the hazardous cargo. These blocks are keyed by the circle numbers in the figure one one and are discussed below. All right, this shows the transportation control movement documentation. One is your document ID. Um, two is the doc the transportation the uh, two through um, one documentation ID. Two the commodity spec handling. Three the type of track. Five uh, remarks. Six an additional remarks or four additional remarks. All right, one the document ID. The document identifier block numbers one and thirty two. The document identifying code is the three position alphanumeric in which the first position always with a T and the letter E with the second position indicates a shipment of ammunition ex and explosives. Letter J in the second position indicates a shipment of hazardous material other than ammunition and explosives. For example, the document identified shows the TGA shipment consists of uh, hazardous material other than ammunition and explosives. Item 2, the Commodity Spec Handling. The Commodity Special Handling Block, Block Number 35 of the Commodity Special Handling Code, a five-position alphanumeric for you that identifies the particular cargo and provides specific information pertaining to the particular shipment. The format of the alphanumeric field is explained in paragraph 12 of the Appendix B of the mill stamp. The mill stamp contains the number of codes corresponding with the commodities shipped in through the military transportation system. The first three to um, positions of the Commodity Special Handling Code indicate the general type of the commodity shipped and are shown in Figure 1, 2. The fourth commodity position of the commodity indicate the type of the cargo also shows the commodity and is a hazardous material. Or hazardous cargo. Nearly all the classes of hazardous material fall in within certain range of the first three positions. Code, ammunition, explosives, moist, oxidizers, and most acids, um, and radioactive substances have codes ranging from 400 to 499. Petroleum products other than bulk have codes ranging from 600 to 609. Chemical compressed gases codes ranging from 630 to 639. The ranges include the most type of the hazardous material your unit is likely to transport. The commodity of the code categories are summarized in alphabetical order with a cross-reference to the commodity codes listed in numerical sequence. All right, you see your commodity codes from aircrafts to uh, baggage to construction material, drugs, um, machinery parts, lumber, radioactivity, waste materials. All right, the fourth position of commodity special handling is key with the paragraph 14 appendix B of the mill stamp is shown in figure 1. Three of the figure 1 the, on this figure um, generally characters of the cargo include the general type of the hazardous cargo. These characteristics are key to alphanumeric character that is a fourth position commodity special handling code. Figure 1, 3, 6 codes with the characteristics H, M, Q, Z, and 1, and 2 are associated with non-hazardous codes. Any character other than these is in the fourth position of the code indicates a hazardous material. All right, this shows A code from A to Z. Um, 
Sensitive cargo. Sensitive cargo is a special Mills Dam cargo with a sensitivity. The sensitivity cargo includes small arms, ammunition, explosives, with the definition threat that the public safety can be used by the militant, revolutionary, criminal, or other elements, civil disturbance, domestic unrest, criminal action. Sensitive cargo identifying the fifth position of the commodity special handling code. If in the commodity sensitive, the fifth position of the commodity special handling code is either 4DM or U. Item four: uh, the type of the pack of the type type pack black number thirty nine. The type pack of this, uh, the two position alpha numeric field would describe the wave of the commodities pack. The codes of the fields are used in the following of the paragraphs. 87 and 90 for the appendix B of the mill stamp and are shown in figure 1 4. The type of the pack code is usually determined by the particular heads of the commodity the code, like, and especially with the commodity, may come with the very package of the first position. Shows the type of the containers in which the shipment is loaded, but the second position identifies who la lo loads the vans and do to what ex capacity. Item 4, pieces and columns. Column A for the additional remarks of the block. The piece of the column is numeric field and is indicating the number of pieces of a particular ship of, the, of cargo includes the information is important in uh, keeping track of the shipment that includes many pieces of the cargo, has its cargo. Item 5, the remarks and or column block in 543, the classified cargo is never intended identified by the transportation control material document. If the cargo is classified in nature, it uh, may be inferred with the type of the security services required. The security requirement for the piece of the cargo will normally be listed in the block. Items 3 and 4, figure 1 and 1, can comply with the classified sensitive cargo as well as hazardous cargo. All right, your miscellaneous mill van and C van shipments, codes A through, um, A through Z, and 3, 4, and 5. Your container express shipments, the Konex, second position, um, serial numbers, and break bulk shipment. Your code descriptions, double lettered. Um. All right, U.S. government building landing, U.S. government building landing, standard form 1103, in like the transportation command, command material document, uh, transportation control material document does not put information about how the hazard and sensitive cargo instead of the information with the exemption of the detailed description of the cargo appears in the group of the block in the middle of the key form. Rule of the form figure 15 shows the sample of the government bill landing key in circled numbers. Now this is the um, shows a 133 um, description packages description articles number of packages weights. Key one the packages block listed in the kind of packages of the cargo. Key two the description of articles block listed in stand clear descriptive of the cargo. Key three the number of packages blocks and listed with the number of packaging each for the piece of the cargo. There is more than one piece of the shipment. Key four the weight blocks list the weight of each of the package for the cubic and measurement of each of the package where required. Hazardous cargo may be identified with the description of articles block two the key or block key two with an um, clear description of the United States of North American hazard material identification number. The United States North uh, Nations North American hazards identification number is universally accepted standard identified with the hazard material by the type of the hazard. They represent property and personnel. The identification numbers are matched with the description of hazard in section one seventy two one oh one of CFR. 49, Section 172, 101, cross-reference the United States and United Nations identification numbers with other parts of the Section 172. The described different hazard pages, Section 172, 101, appear in the Appendix B. To find the description of the item, you must locate the identification number in the symbol Column 1. Note um, 2, note the power part of the Section 172 that describes the hazard material involved with the information appears in Column 2. 3, description, um, turn the appropriate part of the Section 172 to over the, for the description of hazards involved with the material. The hazard description usually appears on the government bail landing. However, it's only the uh, un United Nations identification number appears consult with the Section 172-102 in Appendix B. Hazard, ma hazard material should be readily identified. Each piece of the hazard material must be displayed in standard hazard material label in accordance with the CFR 49 figures 1 6 shows the standard hazard material labels transportation control ma material document often tells you the remarks and or block of the type of the hazard material labels on the commodity requirement the fourth position of the commodity special handling cargo indicates whether the hazard material label is required the description of the code mill stamp of the appendix B of the paragraph 14 includes the type of the hazard material label in the commodity Requires to figure one three. The government bill landing usually indicates the type of the hazard label with required with the description articles block of the key two figure one five that does not look up at the reference United Nations identification number. Check out the commodity description title CFR forty nine hards of material table one seventy two one oh two column two identifies them column four identifies the required labels and it is very important to ensure each piece of the hazard cargo carries the appropriate material label.
All right, these show the poisonous gas and the poison, um, poisonous materials. Radioactive materials, you have your radioactive 1, 2, and 3 states. Oxidizing materials, oxidizing and organic peroxides. A spontaneous combustible sign is number 4. Uh, dangerous is given a 4 diamond with one wet blue flame. Irritant is just shows irritant is um, labeled 8 in the square frame. 8 with an irritant poison si side of it. Oxygen, uh, given a yellow sign for white. Chlorine, also given the skull and crossbones with the chlorine underneath it. Flammable gas, a red diamond, enabled number two with a ga red and white flame. Non-flammable gas, green with a compre cylinder, compressed cylinder, enabled number two. Corrosive shows a uh, uh, corrosive material and an empty is an empty. Explosives A, B, and C, um, plaque cards, flammable liquid, three, given the flame as with diamond, flame solid, four, is given the number four with a red and white pin strip over a white flame. Etiogenic agents, etiogenic agents, biomedical materials in case of damage or leakage, notify the director of COC, Atlanta, Georgia, disease causing chemicals or, organism, uh, or organisms. Caution, unscrew this bunk slowly, do not screw um, and tightly until the entire pressure has escaped through the loosened threads. Remove the bung in the open air. Keep the open flames and the fires away from closed electric lights are safe. safe. Use to relieve the entire pressure of the pressurized can Use to relieve interior pressure as pressurized containers. All right, inspection cargo items for the damage. When the unit personnel tally cargo, instruct for the each of the, uh, to inspect each of the pieces of the cargo. Evidence of the damage, evidence of the damage includes the following stains, leakage and slip, illage, the torn, car, cut, crushed, multiple uh, mutilated packaging, wetness, or loosing, rattling contents. If the evidence of the damage is found personal, should immediately notify your proper, appropriate safety personnel so the damage of the cargo can be inspected, repacked, or removed from the loading area. Part B, inspection of placard vehicles. Air, Army Regulation 55355. Uh, military traffic management regulations require motor vehicles carrying hazardous cargo to be inspected by loading and unloading, and they display appropriate hazardous material placards regulation as also requires the preloading inspection placard of all the rail car carrying hazardous cargo. Motor vehicle and trailer inspection using the Department of Defense Form 626 AR 55355 requires the motor vehicle and trailers to transport hazardous materials used with the Department of Defense Form 626 um, six, as an inspection documentation. As an, Inspection document. Um, personnel will inspect the vehicle correctly. Any deficiency noted on the Department of Defense Form 626, and before the vehicle, vehicle enters the loading and unloading area, a sample of the form of the um, 626 Motor Vehicle Inspection Transportation has the material appears in the Figure 17 instruction for completing the Department of Defense 626 appear on the back of this form. Rail car inspection using car certification. You, um, if you're shipping hazard material by the rail car, you must conduct the tree to preloading inspection before loading hazard cargo. These preloading inspections are recorded on a card certificate. The card certificate is a three part form that carries files. Uh, original copy attaches one copy to each of the other side of the fixed black card board of the rail car. Or the carrier represents makes an insul initial inspection and proof of the card service by signing the certification number of one of the car certificate. You should, you sh uh, you sh as the uh, you as the shipper, someone authorized by you must conduct a second preloading inspection after loading. The shipper must inspect the car again and sign the certification number two on the cer car certificate and identify that the cargo is properly loaded and ready for transport. In addition, the shipment of the hazardous cargo is container on the or on trailers. The cargo representative or you or you as the shipper may ensure that. The containers are properly secured for the flag car. The carrier represents for the shipper. Signed certification numbers of three. The car certificate when the containers of the trailer are holding cards to cargo are properly secured. The carriers represent shippers should be considered the following criteria when making preloading, loading, and car inspection. Preloading car inspection criteria. This includes but not as limited to the following air and hand brakes must be serviceable. Brake shoes must be at least three eighths of an inch thick and safe, suitable condition for service. Journal boxes must be pro properly packed and oiled and covered. The truck springs must be good in condition. Bearing wedges must be not bent, crack or broken. Box cars must be equipped with journal roller bearings. Friction bearings are no longer allowed in the interchange ra railroad service. Um, WW uh, AMS. Amstead, AMSteadRail.com AARC 7490 
Coupling hoses must be in good condition. Spark shield um, must meet the safety requirements when included. No holes, decayed material, no accumulation of oil, grease, or other debris which could support the combustion. Door runners and channels must be inspected for the damage. If the doors cannot be sealed with the striping, by, by striping, the car will be rejected. Placing holders, de door keepers must be installed in the proper places. Cargo spaces must be swept clean before loading. Roof and the holes and decay will be rejected. This shows a sample of the motor motor vehicle inspection form that has to be checked over twice. Um, the Department of Defense Form 626. Here's the back. The back shows the instructions when you have the form. This is also the certification where the two shipper signatures um, for the inspection. Load car inspection criteria. This includes, but it is not limited to the following load. Must properly be braced and shorted in accordance with the military standard transportation movement procedures. Or mil milstead. Mil milstead. Other military services the drawing shipping's movement also contain combination of explosive dangerous articles prohibited the Department of Transportation regulation from being loaded and transported together and stored together. All items must be in good condition marked with the corners for the Department of Transportation and other applicable regulations. Black cars must be um, properly placed. Black car vehicles and rail cars accordance with the CFR 49 and AR 5535. Department of the Transportation has the material transportation regulation, Title 49, Army Regulation 5535. Requires all vehicles, rail cars, transportation has the material must be able to black cars indicate the nature of the cargo. Every vehicle, rail car with any of the quantity has the material must be black card on each end of the either each side of the type of the black card specified in the Title CFR. 49 tables re re reproduced in Figure 1 9 of the various hazardous material black cards look larger version of the hazardous material labels. A vehicle rail car carrying two or more classes of hazard material requiring different car and plaque cards specified with the figure 1 9 table 2 must be plaque carded dangerous in place with the different plaque cards uh, are however within 5,000 pounds or more one class of hazard material is loaded on a vehicle or rail car the vehicle the rail car must display an appropriate plaque card with a hazardous material in addition with a dangerous plaque card the regulation does not apply to portable tank cargo tank uh, or tanker card. No plaque card is required with the amount of vehicle that it contains less than 1,000 pounds total of any of the materials listed. Uh Vigor 1-9, Table 2. If you're responsible for shipping hazard material, you must provide with the carrier with the appropriate hazard material placard. If you are on the motor or rail transportation unit, you must obtain hazard materials placard with the shipper. At the time of the cargo is loaded, the hazard materials ship with the freight containers having a capacity of 640 cubic feet or greater. Each freight container must display the appropriate placard. Table 1 shows the Class A, B, ex Class A, Explosive, Class B, Explosive, Poisonous, Gas, A, Flammable, Solid Waste, Flammable, Radioactive Material, Radioactive Material, Uranium, Heroxiflide, Hexafluoride, um, and that has the notes for the Explosive, B, and Flammable, Solid, W, and any of the quality of the old package bearing radio radioactive yellow, three label, the corrosive plate card will not require shipment in less than 1,000 pounds of grace weight. Table 2 shows more Class C explosive blasting agents, non flammable gas, non flammable gas chlorine, non flammable gas fluorine, uh, non flammable gas oxygen, pressured liquid, cryogenic liquid, flammable gas, non combustible liquid, flammable liquid, flammable solid, oxidizers, organic peroxide, poison B, corrosive and irritating material. Also, you have your footnotes for flammable um, plaque cards, chlorine, non flammable gas blasting, and accepting shipments of oxidizer cards. Part C, inspecting load cargo. You should also ensure that the cargo is properly loaded to prevent the damage of the cargo, damage of the equipment, ensure the per injury of the personnel of the part, and disclose, disclose, discuss the procedure regulation to follow the loading hazards co cargo. Cargo compatibility rules with Title 49. My, my, many of the types of hazard material are compatible with one another. There's type of um, transportation incompatible and incompatible hazard material together is prohibited in Title 49. CFR Code Federal Regulation 49. Section 17481 of the Code of Federal Regulation 49 contains segregation and separation chart of the hazard material in the rail car. The table shows that the hazards of and ammunition explosives must be loaded, stored, and located in appendix B of the subcourse. The table and the matrix left listing the hazard of material in the horizontal row of vertical column and the articles listed here must be loaded or stored together. For example, the detonating fuse is class A with the radioactive components must be loaded or stored with high explosive propellant explosives class a, B in the row, and the row, if dotted with the period of the selection of the row and the column, the articles list should be loaded with the store together and exemptions limitations indicated by the footnotes. 
Section 177.848 of Title 49 pertains to segregation and separation of the car chart of the hazard material to determine the compatibility with shipping of the motor vehicle to the table, which is reproduced to extract that the Code of Federal Regulation 49 C Appendix B of the read with the same manner with the table section, Section 174.81. The general hazard material that are not specified and compatible with these tables must be shipped together. Hazard materials may be generally transported with non-hazard materials. These are one of the major exemptions for the rule. A carrier must not, may not put, transport any package of med and material bearing a poison label with the food stuff and the feeds any edible material intended for consumption of the humans or animals. Motor vehicle. The following measures are required in the loading and securing hazard material when transported in a motor vehicle. General handling requirements. Secure the back but race packaging to prevent movement of the vehicle. Do not permit smoking open flame with loading and unloading. Select the vehicle handbrake while loading and unloading. And do not use the tools with the, which may damage the packages or lo uh, for loading and unloading. Do not permit extreme temperatures during the transportation. Low trans flammable solids, exoxidizing material, corrosive liquids with compatible cargo so they are easily accessible. Serve restrict use of the cargo heaters when hazardous material is being transported. Explosive handling requirements. Do not load and unload explosive from any of the motor vehicles while the engine is running. Do not use bail hooks or other metal tools for loading and unloading packages. Do not roll packages except for the barrels and kegs. Keep all the packages away from the hot vehicle tailpipes and sources with spark. Equally distribute the weight of the cargo over the load bed as much as possible. Secure the tarpaulins made of the means of the rope wire and tie downs. Do not load and carry Class A explosives on any vehicle combination of vehicles if they do not load or carry Class A explosives on any of the vehicle combination of the vehicles more than two cargo carrying vehicles or in the combination of any of the fuel trailer the combination with a wheel the base with less than 184 inches. A vehicle in the combination is a tank motor vehicle. The other vehicle in the combination contains any initiating explosives, packages, radioactive material with the yellow three labels class A and B, poison, or has material and potable tank. Ensure transportation vehicle with the type floors with no projections that may damage the pack. Just do not transportate detonate primer of the same motor vehicle with the Class A and Class B explosives containing explosives. At need with the body with the motor vehicle close the vehicle tailgate. Secure the during transportation. Transportation explosive closed vehicles and open a vehicle cargo bed covered with a tarpaulin. Secure and separate the package for the container which may damage the explosives. Do not transfer explosive of any of the public highway, street, and road except for the emergency. Do not liquid load liquid nitroglycerin desensitized and liquid de nitroglycerin diethanol glycogenate directly above any other explosive or any question any quantity of excess of 900 quarts of one motor one motor vehicle or 10 quarts of any individual container. The net load should be not include 7,500 pounds. No any transportation restrictions are necessary to practice, practice ammunition containing no, no explosives or other damage, dangerous articles, including cartridge cases, dummy or drill, cartridges, sand-loaded projectiles, sand-loaded bombs, empty projectiles, empty mines, empty bombs, solid projectiles, empty torpedoes, rotating bands should be appropriately protected against the deformation. Flammable liquids handling requirements stop the vehicle engine unless it is operating with a pump bound to ground with the cargo containing the prior during the transfer of the cargo for the containers which are not metallically contact with each other provided either with a metallic bond or grounds conductor neutralization possible static charge prior to or during transfer of the flammable liquids between such containers connecting an electrical contactor to the container to be filled and subsequently connect the conductor to the um, container from which the liquid has come for, in order to provide against the ignition of vapors by discharge of the static electricity making a ladder connection at point will be removed from the opening where the flammable liquid is to be discharged bound and grounding cargo tanks before during a transfer cargo when the cargo tank is loaded there uh, through an open filling of the whole end of the bond wire where they're connected to the stationary system piping other than the ends of the shell of the cargo to provide a continuous electric connector. Handling requirements flammable solid liquids Oxidizers close and secure vehicle the tailgate during the transportation. Transportation cargo is closed vehicle and open cargo vehicle, vehicle cargo bed covered with a tarpaulin and watertight containers. Keep cargo dry and uh, dry during handling of the transportation load material subject to the spontaneous combustion and heating and avoiding the adequate ventilation so the cargo does not overheat the catch fire on load vehicle as soon as practical practicable after reaching its destination. 
All right, corrosive liquids and handling requirements. Ha um, handling carboys, other carrying um, containers, individual when loaded, unloading hand with the load of the carboys only with the carrier uh, high, high unless they are boxed and crafted in, and the barrels or keg cargo should be stacked or blocked based on the prevented damage during the transportation of load storage batteries, so they are insulated against short circuits. Compressed gas handling ensure the floors of the um, vehicle or cargo bed are as flat as possible. Load cylinders onto the motor vehicle, not having a flo or floor and platform only with the vehicles equipped with a suitable rack. Poison handling requirements. Use practical means for the minimize the spread of the poison into the atmosphere during loading and unloading, loading and unloading away from the public places and allow only necessary personnel to be present. Do not permit the transportation of Class A poison or any irritating material that if there is any internal connection between the packaging. Radioactive material handling requirements. The limit of the number of packaged radioactive material vehicles, the total transportation index determined with again adding together with the transportation index number of labels of individual packets. This is not exceed 50. The transportation index of the package is highest radiation dose the rate millirem per hour, three feet from any accessible external force sub surface of the package. Our package of the radioactive material with the radioactive yellow th 2 or the radioactive yellow 3 labels must be placed in the motor vehicle and in any other place of the closure of the distance shown in figure 110 to any of the area which may be continuously occupied by the paid passengers employed for the animals undeveloped film. But the more than one of these packages is present can be the distance of figure 11 or sorry, 111 be, um, based on the total transportation index number determined with the adding it together with the transport index number of the labels of the individual packets where more of one of the groups is present with any single location. A single group may not have the total transportation index greater than 50. Each of the group of the packages must be handled so with no place on the 6 meters or 20 feet and measure the edge to edge of the, any of the other group. Loading shipments, load specific activity materials, and spilling, scattering, and loosing materials. Block and brace packages so that they cannot charge position during transportation. Survey each of the vehicle use of the transportation radioactive material used exclusively. Use the condition with the radiation detection instrument for each of the use. Fixed or non fixed radiation should not exceed with the standard listed with the section 173, 443, 117, 177, 843. The Code of Federal Relation 49 standards are not provided. Rail transfer. The following measures required for the loading and securing hazardous materials of the transported by the rails. Explosives forbidden for transfers. Explosives with igniting spontaneous undergo with the marked with the decomposition subject for the higher temperature of 165 degrees or greater for 48 consecutive hours. Explosives containing ammonia, salt, and chlorate and acidic metal, salt, and chlorate. Leaking and damaged packages. Explosives, nitroglycerins, and diethanol, the glycode dinitrate. Load of fire, 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 firearm fireworks for the combined with explosive detonating of the blasting cap. The fireworks contain the yellow and white phosphorus. Toy torpedoes maximum outside dimensions exceed 7 eighths of an inch. Toy torpedoes contain the mixture of the potassium chlorate, black and, and, and tonomy, and sulfur with the average torpedo weight exceeding 4 grains. Uh, this is the total. Um, this is the distance with the table measured with the nearest point of the package of the radioactive materials. Same thing. Loading requirements for the explosive loading and securing Class A explosives so the end of the wooden box do not bear, bear against the side of the fiber, fiber box, fiberboard boxes. There are no pressure points with the boxes. Load, lar load large 500 pounds or more explosive bombs, unfused projective projectiles, rocket ammunition, rocket motors, and other classes A and B explosives which are not packed in boxes. Stock cars and flat bottom bondula cars only if they are adequately braced. Load Class A and Class B explosive with the cannot be loaded with the clothes of the cars due to the side from the open top of the cars. Flat cars provided with the protective with the weather and external ignition. Load boxes and high explosive, low explosives and black powder packages and long cartridges, backs and sift proof liners containing no liquid explosive ingredient on their sides or ends. Do not load Class A explosives higher than the car lining unless the additional lining is provided with the highs as the load. When the cargo of the cargo includes any explosive dish, weight the cargo equalize the weight on each side of the car over the trucks, load, in, load wooden kegs or fiber kegs, barrels or drums on the other side of the ends. Do not place packages of um, explosive within space opposite doors with the doorways or on board open inside of the cargo that does not apply with the pelletized packages if they are properly braced. Secure block ba um, packages, brace them to prevent the packaging and the shipping position falling to the floor and sliding into the, each other. Do not drop packages during the handling and sure planks for rolling trucks for the platforms to, and cars to be beveled ends. Ensure loading platforms, work, workmen's shoes are um, free of grit. Um, take all possible precautions against fire. The shipper is responsible for furnishing all the material needed to stow and secure the explosives on a rail or in a rail car. 
Do not load explosives into the rail car equipped with any type of light, liquid lighted heat or open flame device, electrical device having exposed heating coils. Use proper loaded block and brace containers, cars, freight containers, flat cars, gondola cars, and transport. Class A except for the black powder and metal containers. Ensure that all freight cars used with the transportation class explosive weatherproof allow with the scurable blocking, bracing cargo inside containing, maintaining structural integrity of itself and cargo under 8 miles per hour impact. Do not use a drop bottom rail cars to transfer freight containing with the Class A explosives. You may transport Class A and B explosives in the trucks or trailers of the, on flat cars if the cargo is protected within the weather. Class A explosive initiating priming explosives may not be not together in the same rail car. Car certificates are not required for Class C explosives. All right, loading requirements of flammable gas. Do not transport flammable gas on a rail car equipped with any type of the open flame device, internal combustion engine, service cylinders containing the compressed gas in the upright position, prevent the overturning of the loading of them uh, in the horizontal position. Do not transport cylinders and containing compressed gas in the hopper bottom cars. Loading requirements for poisons. Do not transport poison gas in the same cars with the edible materials intended for the consumption of human or animals. Transport Class A poisons in the Department of Transportation approved with the containers and tanks. Securely block them and brace them. Trans Port Class A poison in the car lo loaded lots. Help with the gas filled with the projectiles may be transported and last for the car loaded lots. Ensure each of the shipment of the Class A poison accompanied at all times qualified to escort the supply with the equipment to handle the leakage of author packaging failures, which could result in the escape of the bass. When transporting Class A poison in the tank, securely mounted on the railway car, especially provided with four or onto a gondola car prepared with substantial wood frames and blocks. Transport drums of Class A poison with the filling of the holes and securely block and brace them against any of the movement. B. Sorry, whenever the transportation class A, the drums is in the boxcar, box, and the end of the cars toward the space between the car doors and the braces, them and the center gates and the wedges. Loading requirements for flammable liquids. Do not load flammable liquids in a rail car equipped with any of the type of lighted, lighted, lighted heater or open flame device. Internal combustion engine may transport metal barriers, barrels and drums containing flammable liquids in steel gondolas, flat cars, and sock cars. However, do not transport hopper bottom cars. Do not transport flammable liquid bearing the poison label in the same of the car with the edible material intended for the consumption of human and animals. Loading requirements for flammable solids. Do not transport poison flammable solid material bearing poison label the food stuff feeds and any other edible material intended for the consumption of human or animals. Load requiring oxidizer load requirements for oxidizers. Do not transport oxidizer material bearing with a poison label with the same care of the food stuff feed or any other edible material intended for the consumption of human or animals. Loading materials for radioactive material limit the number of the package of radioactive materials transported into the rail car to a number of the making total transportation index fifty. Transportation index of the total transportation index determine the same name of the number and manner as for the transportation of motor vehicle. The provision does not apply to the exclusive use of shipments. Do not pack, place a package with radioactive material, radioactive yellow 2 or radioactive yellow 3 label is closer than 3 feet by the air, for, to an area which may be continuously occupied by the passenger rail employee shipment of the animals or closer than 15 feet to any package containing undeveloped film. is so marked if more than one of the package radioactive material is present, the distance between must be computed from the figure one one uh, figure 111 on the basis of the total transportation index number determined and adding together with the transportation index numbers so the labels of the individual package of the package package in the, in the car. Sure, adequate transportation control to assure that the numbers of class 3 shipments is transported with the same rail car with any of the radioactive material shipments and loading the storage areas to segregate it with each of the fissionable official Faisal Class 3 shipments by a distance of 20 feet from other packages required with the bearing radioactive label ensure the personnel do not remain unnecessary within the rail car containing the radioactive material. Secure block and brace all packages with radioactive materials to prevent movement during the transportation and closing. In case of the package shipped under with the exclusive view for the provisions, ensure the radiation leads levels does not exceed 2 millirum per hour in any normal occupied position of the transportation vehicle adjacent rail car. Survey the exclusive views of the railway car transporting radioactive materials. Appropriate radiation detection instrument for each of the use of the vehicle may not be returned. Service to using radiation dose rate, dose rate at any accessible surface of 1.5 millirum per hour or less or a significant removable radioactive surface contamination has been removed. Sensible and exclusive use for the car with the words for radioactive material using the letters at least three inches high and the conspicuous place for the both sides of the exterior of the car leading, keeping the car closed at all times other than during loading and unloading. Loading requirements for corrosive material. Um, do not transportate the carboys corrosive liquids by rail or container car with loading of the block and the brake it brace package of the corrosive liquids and being transported so they cannot be positioned during transportation. Place less than the carbo load 
carloaded shipments of car uh, corrosive liquids to car boy near the doorway with the car nailed wooden strips into the car floor so the liquid can, um, from the broken car boy will drain toward the doorway outside of the car. When carrying less than a carbo um carload shipment of the rest of carboy covered the floor under the carboy box with clean and dry sand earth that handled the carboys with the bent neck piles up. Protect the electrical storage better to prevent the short circuits do not let load them and store them when the explosives do not use the electrical storage batteries in the refrigerator plug door type unless the car has vents from which to prevent accumulation of gas in the car. When transportation of nitric acid and other corrosive liquids the and carboys separate it from the other carboys nail two by sixes and each plank set the edge from the cross of the car floor at least 12 inches from the nitri nitric acid carboy. Our properly secured cargo secures all the cargo to prevent the damage to secure the hardest of the cargo, not to prevent the damage for the cargo, but also to prevent the damage equipment and injury to personnel secure with the bracing and blocking tie down covering field manual 5530 with the Army tra Motor Transportation Unit operation. Describe the techniques used to secure the cargo on the motor vehicle TM5522001012. The application of blocking and bracing tie down materials, rail transportation, described in techniques to secure the cargo rail cars. Tile 49 CFR includes securing requirements, hazardous cargo, and detonators, flammable cryo cryogenic liquid. With flammable gas, consult each of these so as determination properly or to measure the secure of the particular hazard of the cargo. The following are the general criteria to determine the cargo properly secured block and brace the lash of the cargo so that no movement can occur during the transportation load of box crates so that the stronger size of the parallel with the direction of the vehicle, the movement low drum kegs, carboy cylinders so that they are open with bungs, valves, and necks are facing up and for adequately protect the materials that they are sensitive to shock, puncturing, denting, crushing, or using crates or cribs, blocking appropriate masses, secure materials that may emit poison and flammable gases while allowing ventilation for the gases. Secure materials that may emit poison flammable gases while allowing ventilation into the gas protect materials against the moisture of the closed containers, closed vehicles, tarpaulins, and appropriate and protect flammable combustible explosive materials from all sorts of heat, flame, and sparks. Never load cargo higher than the top edge of the side of the transportation vehicle. Load cargo so that the weight is evenly distributed over the load bed. Proper document for the cargo. Every shipment with a hazard material must be appropriately documented. Some of the way by some form of way bill. The use of the forms usually use the transportation control material document. Department of Defense Form 1384, Government Bill Landing Transport Standard Form 1103, accompanying the forms. If the transportation officer is shipping activity, you're responsible for making sure that the carrier receives the cargo documentation before the store starting a haul. If your units act as a carrier has its cargo, be sure the unit personnel are positioned appropriate way bill before they start the haul. If the government bill landing lading is used, the carrier does not receive the copy of the standard form 1103. The carrier receives the document called the freight way bill standard form 1106. The carrier will also, car will also often carry the co-signing doc co-signer's documentation for the shipment of the co-signer's documentation standard for 1103B. The memorandum properly received both standard form 1106 and standard form 1103B with the part of the government bill landing set whenever the standard form 1103 serves as the original. Lesson two. Supervising overload transportation has this cargo. All right, lesson two, supervise overlaying the transportation hards with carbo MQS manual task 01738100100 or 01787381.00-0020. Introduction lesson discuss the special um, task involved with the planning of the monitoring transportation unloaded with the hazardous cargo to properly supervise the transportation unloading hazardous cargo and you must be able to plan the transportation cargo inform the carrier security pro, um, pro precautions observe the safety and security precautions during the unloading and loading. Part A, the plant transportation of cargo, the safety individuals, environmental primary consideration, shipment of the hazardous materials, some of the materials, care of the special security precautions, carefully planning, and an imperative be, um, before undertaking a shipment of the hazardous material. Security requirements. Security service requirements of the arms, ammunition, explosive, the term with the categorized defined in Department of Defense Manual 5100.76. There are four major categories of the um, arms, ammunition, and explosives. Each of these categories described extract the transportation security guide and Appendix B and the minimum security service requirements for the various shipment of the categories arms and arms explosives are below. Category 1, the truck um, truckload uh, shipments for the category arms and a ammunition and explosives following the requirements of security escort vehicles or uh, services or uh, SEVs. Exclusive use, exclusive use of vehicle. Vehicle must be locked and sealed by the ship of the tri triple lease. May not be used. Sing a single line haul with is required. When two or more vehicles are in convoy, driving must be inside of the other vehicles at all times. Convoy will require 
require only a single escort vehicle to stop off in transit authorities. For less than a truckload shipments for the category of the one air arms explosive uh, arms ammunition explosives, uh, they follow the requirement applying the armed guard services. The um, Support escort vehicle services and exclusive the use of the vehicle. Vehicle must be locked and sealed by the shippers unless the shipment requires upon equipment. Connex, a similar container may be used. The triple lease may not be used. Single line mall was required for the shipment. The following requirements apply. The AGS, the Military Traffic Expedition Service, rail cars must be locked and sealed with the shipper. The use of the Category 1 motor regulations associated with motor movement. Category 2, minimum security services requirement. The truck loading shipment. The Category 2, arms, ammunition, explosives appear. The AGS, the exclusive use of the vehicle. vehicle Vehicle must be locked and sealed by the ship of the triple lease. Now authorized single line haul is required to stop off in transit authorized. For less than truckload shipments, these requirements for the AGS, the Connex, similar container may be used. The cargo must be packaged and weighted at least 200 pounds, banded and sealed. That practical contain must in the lock sealed with the shipper. Single line haul is required for the triple lease that may not be used by the carrier. For shipments, these requirements will um, apply to the rail service for sur rail surveillance services with low divider do doors that are used with the available the MTX rail, rail cars must be located. Locked and sealed with the shipper, the consign must be notified with the independent impending delivery immediately upon dispatch and shipment of category two motor regulations apply to the associated motor vehicles. Category three and four minimum security service requirements truck load shipments category three and four arms and ammunition explosives appear below. Dual driver protective ser services um, triple lease may not be used. The single line haul is preferred lock and sealed by the shipper unless all pine equipment is required. For less than truck load shipments, these requirements for the DTPS and the Connex similar contained by the use of the cargo must be packaged to a weight of at least two hundred pounds band and sealed or container must be locked and sealed by the shipper. The triple e and the triple lease may be um, used single line haul is preferred locked and sealed by the shipper unless the shipment requires open equipment. For rail shipment, these requirements apply with the rail car must be locked and sealed by the shipper, the RS and the MTX and the co signer must be immediately notified and pending the delivery upon dispatch of the shipment. Category three motor minimum security standards apply to the associated motor movement. Routing for cargo. Routing, routing with the defined as an order issued by the routing officer specifying the mode of the transportation, the means of which for the mode by which the shipment is responsible for determining the transportation route for the cargo. Depending on the nature of the cargo transportation environment, you are responsible for the routine routing shipments of Class C explosive that weigh less than 10,000 pounds in the Military Trafficking Management Command Area Command routes Class A and B explosives. All shipments may weigh in more than 10,000 pounds. In a situation with the, where Military Traffic Management Command is responsible for the routing of the shipment, must call the Military Management Command, Area Command, inform them you need the route ordered. To issue the route order, the Military Traffic Management Command must know the preferred mode. Transportation level security service required for the shipment of the Military Management and Transportation Management Command or, or Traffic Command or, uh, will process the request and issue the route. The route ordered and contains the following information name of the carriers to be used with the containing information for the carriers. Junction points required for the shipment. The miscellaneous instruction required for the proper forwarding of the shipment. The period of which the route is, uh, is valid. If the if you are routinely shipping the cargo required for the super, um, security service the military traffic management command area may issue the standing route, route order is valid for all shipments in a particular co signing the specified period. All right, carrier providing with the required security service. Where the, the military traffic management command determining the route of the shipment, you are responsible. Assuming you're sh you are the shipper for the contact in the carrier range with the shipment, the military traffic management command determines the route, and the carrier is selecting will have the capability of providing the required service to the security service. If you are determining the route, the carrier will consult with the military traffic management command who command are named the criteria which provide the required services security services before you select the carrier. Check of the, the carrier's tender tariff to conform the availability of appropriate protective services. Services. Part B, informing the carrier of security precautions route and schedule for the highway transportation. If you are a commercial carrier for the shipment, your route and schedule ha should have been established by the time that you contracted with the carrier. But you should conform the route and schedule with the driver. If you are using Army transportation elements for the shipment, you are sometimes authorized by which you should brief each of the driver on the transportation route and schedule. Ensuring carrier understands protective services and requirements. Commercial carriers should normally be aware of the understanding of the safety security measurements required with the during transportation. Oil tra Army transportation elements may be um, have to be briefed unless they are routinely handled transportation cargo hazards of cargo. You should ensure the carrier understands the sensitive of the material being shipped under the protective supply of the responsibility requirement of the type of the protective service is specified. The commercial carrier should not be in informed that as the specific shipment 
as to the shipment's classification if the transportation commercial parent motor vehicle ensures the driver knows how to obtain the information on refuge, safe haven, save the glossary if required, but the ensure the every the carrier is instructed with the precaution following the case of emergency. These instructions should include the appropriate toll for the free to free telephone number to call, call in case of emergency. In all cases, to emphasize the carrier representative that even the concept is set the delivery with the carrier as custodian of uh, custody of the shipment and is responsible for all using all appropriate protective measures. There are two specific responsibilities under the task of the transportation via the highway ensure the driver receives the Department of Defense Form 836 Special Instructions of Motor Vehicle Drivers, which is illustrated in Figure 2 1 the Department of Defense Form 836 is used with the hazardous materials being transported in motor vehicle. The form of the instruction driver the general precautions to break down procedures, accident procedures, fire procedures, whatever the other measures are necessary. Every the driver of the vehicle must acknowledge the receipt of the Department of Defense Form 836. Sign the appropriate block with the bottom. You are some of the uh, you are someone uh, by the you must complete each of the driver form, Department of Defense Form. 836. Most often, information required with completing the form should be readily available for the way bills in Title 40, CFR 49. Um, buyer procedures should be available the, for your installation safety officers. All right, this is Department of Defense Form 836 Special Instruction for Motor Vehicle Drivers. Ensure the carrier of the Department of Defense Form 1907 appropriate the Department of Form 1907 sign signature tally record usually whenever it's required with the part of security services for shipment. The form is illustrated in Figure 22. The each of the carrier represents a commercial army accepting custody of the shipment must acknowledge the receipt of the cargo completing the rail section of the form and Section A of the form must be completed by the shipper if the unit of the shipper makes the disclosure of the Department of Defense Form 1907 is indicated by the security services requires the use of signature tally record information in Section A shall be available for the shipment way bill and route, route order if you are in the unit is the carrier make sure the Section B of the Department of Defense Form 1907 complete when and when appropriate refer to Figure 2-2 Delayed overhead due shipment of the hazardous cargo. If you unit the shipper, you must notify the co-signer of the local security office of the shipment and arm of the ammunition explosive delayed to an, in its ar 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 arrival. If the unit of the co-signer, you must notify the shipping unit of the transportation office of the local security office of the shipment of the arms ammunition explosive is not received within 48 hours of the estimated time arrival. Military Traffic Management Command Army uh, Area Command should also be notified if the shipment of the hazardous car cargo will be delayed or becomes overdue. This is signature tally record, the Department of Defense, 1907. Part C, observing safety and security precautions, equipment, and procedures. Correct equipment and procedure for the unloading of houses, cargo, the same handling, same as for loading. You are learned with a procedure for the Part C for this lesson one. Inspect for the cargo for the damage. Inspect for the cargo for damage. Transfer unloading. Note the evidence for the damage of the way bill. If there is any evidence for the damage of the hazardous cargo, especially ammunition, explosives, or personnel, should immediately inform the danger so that you can contact the appropriate safety personnel. Do not move to disturb the damaged cargo except as a direction of the safety personnel. Telling or reporting cargo discrepancies. Tally cargo of the transportation control management demand uh, doc management document or the government bill of landing due to every loading and unloading of the transportation other to prevent shortages, especially important to the tally arms, ammunition, explosives. Make sure that you can um, account for the every piece for the cargo of the cargo discrepancy, loss for the damage, and incomplete. All found with the file as appropriate discrepancy report. Proceed the transportation off of the destination ship of the state. Initiate the transportation discrepancy report. The initial message should be the form illustrated in figure 23 backup documentation standard form 361 transportation discrepancy report should be prepared the same time the discrepancy message is prepared an example of the same form 361 is shown in figure 24 detailed with instruction completing these forms appear in AR 5538 this is your joint message form department of defense form 173-2 transportation discrepancy form Part 1 2. Compatibility rules of uh, for um, CF Code Federal Relation 49. Compatible chart with the ammunition explosives appear in section 174.81 and 177.848 of the Title 49 number of the compatible rules required with the summarized lesson. Make sure the unit personnel understand the compatible rules and follow them. And that completes the Supervisor Land Transportation Hazards Material Subcourse TR1030 Edition 8, U.S. Army Transportation School, Fort Utis, Virginia, 23604, 5408, 8 credit hours edition, December 1988.